Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, ready? Okay, today is Wednesday. Okay. Adrián Erasmo. Presente. Oh, I'm here. Great. Ana Beatriz. Andrea Cecilia. Present. Excellent. Brenda Guadalupe. Present. Great. Brenda Isabel. Present. Excellent. Carlos Ricardo. Present. Excellent. Carlos Roberto. Cecia Beatriz. Darlene Stephanie. Present. Okay. Dennis Giovanni. Dennis. Present teacher. Okay. Edith Vanessa. Fátima Margarita. Present teacher. Excellent. Flavio Emanuel. Present. Okay. Gabriela Maribel. Carla Susena. Carla Vanessa. Present. Okay. Luis Edenilson. Marvin Alexander. Marvin Alexander presente, teacher. Ok. Miguel Antonio. Present. Ok. Nancy Hassel. Present. Ok. Nancy Soledad. Present. Excellent. Nora Eloisa. Pamela Noemi. Present. Ok. Raquel Abigail. Richard Joel. Robert. Adalberto. Present. Ok. Ronnie Alexander. Roxana Francisca. Present. Excelente. And Jamie Marisol. Jamie? No. Ok. So today we're going to finish section three and probably we can start the middle term. Okay, ustedes ya van, ya van casi finalizando las actividades de la section tres. Como todos unos estudiantes responsables. Yes? Yes, yes. Excellent.
Okay. We have a conversation. We are going to listen and then we are going to practice. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not sorry. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn. Okay. Questions about vocabulary words? No? Teacher. Yes. Eh, ahí dice, I am teaching math. Eso es maestro de matemática. Yes, I estoy enseñando. Ah, ah okay. I am teaching. Mm -hmm. Enseñando. Yes. Okay, thank you. What about terrific? What do you think? Porque dice, it's great. The students are terrific. Terrorífico. <laughs> In English, is um, the opposite. Okay, terrific means like, wow, excellent. They are very good students. Okay, entonces cuando le dicen, you are terrific, no es que sea algo malo, sino que en realidad es una connotación positiva. In English, okay, in English. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, okay, so let's practice. Two volunteers, please. Yo, hi. Okay. Adrian and Andrea. ¿Quién okay, empieza, Adrián? ¿Quién empieza? Adrián. Ok. Ok. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching much at Litco High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are ter terrific. Terrific. How terrific? How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a fighter. Fighter. Now you know. Thanks. Exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, thank you. Muy bien, practice pronunciation of math. 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 No, math. 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 Que recuerden que la TH es con la como la T pero con la Z mat 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 okay terrific 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 a firefighter 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 and exciting 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 Okay, yes, that's better. Okay, thank you. Two more volunteers. Hi, me. Okay. 
Me? Okay. Go. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I am teaching math, math and Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How how are things with you? Not bad. I am five fighter now, you know. Thanks. Exciting. Yes, but it's a very uh, stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, thank you. Remember the importance of intonation. You said that's exciting, that's exciting, that's exciting. Pero tiene un exclamation, un exclamation mark. So, wow, that's exciting. O sea, sonar como un poquito más emocional. Okay, thank you. No more questions? The last, last two volunteers? Ah, eh, también cuando tengamos contractions, okay, try to use it. Cuando, cuando hayan contracciones, úselas. O sea, sí significa lo mismo, pero si está en forma contractada, try to use the contraction. I'm, I'm. In high school, high school. Okay, the last two volunteers, please. Yeah. Okay. Brenda and Flavio. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I teach him math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am five fire now. You know? That's exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, now the last the last topic of this section is placement of adjectives. Okay, first, what is an adjective? Okay, an adjective we use to describe something. Okay, an adjective could describe a noun. Or uh, could describe um, let's see another another adjective. Okay, we add information with an adjective because we say more about the object, the person, the place, the animal that we are talking to. Okay, so the adjective is to add information or to explain more about that object. And it can be in two positions. Well, we have more, but today we are only going to see these two positions. So you can use it with a verb to be, okay? With a verb to be, and then the adjective, okay? Sería separando y relacionando. El verb to be nos serviría de link con el noun. Okay, recuerde que los nouns pueden ser eh, personas, animales, cosas, lugares. Okay, cualquiera de esos que nosotros vamos a describir. Y empezaríamos con el noun. Luego utilizaríamos 
un possessive, okay, que ya los hemos visto, el apóstrofe es, para referirnos que estamos hablando de eso. A firefighter's job, okay, el trabajo de bombero. A firefighter's job. Luego unimos con el verb to be. O sea, ¿qué pasa con, con ese trabajo? Is dangerous. Okay, y nuestro verb to be también va a depender del noun. Y acá es importante que usted verifique que el noun que se está usando es, o sea, que verifique realmente cuál es el noun. Porque aquí, por ejemplo, fácilmente podríamos decir que el noun de la oración es firefighter o que el sujeto de la oración es firefighter. Pero en realidad es the job, el trabajo. Ese sería, entonces lo vamos a relacionar con el eh, de, de, de noun. O sea, hay que identificar bien cuál es el noun, porque en base a eso va a ir nuestro verbo. Okay. A doctor's job is stressful. Okay. Entonces, esa sería una forma. Then we have, we can write the adjective first and then the noun. Y aquí van directamente relacionados. ¿Verdad? Aquí sí se ve más directamente cuál es el noun, ¿verdad? Porque va eh, justo después del adjective. Ok, a dangerous job, a stressful job. Y en estos casos eh, vamos a utilizar siempre eh, a firefighter, ¿ok? Como el object has. Tiene a dangerous job. A doctor has a stressful job. Y entonces aquí va directamente relacionado. No necesitamos nada que nos relacione porque they are going together. Or, yes, they go together. Okay. En mm, Spanish, nosotros lo decimos al revés. ¿verdad? Un trabajo estresa, estresante, un trabajo peligroso. But in English, we start with the adjective, dangerous, stressful, and then the noun, dangerous job, stressful job. Y hay algunas ocasiones en las que podemos utilizar los adjectives ya sea antes o después del noun. Um, si sí, lo hacemos por medio del verb to be. Okay. For example, I can say um, okay. um, I have a white house. Ok, entonces ahí Empiezo con el adjective y luego con el noun. Pero también podemos decir, o puedo decir, my house is white. Okay, which is the same idea. Pero aquí estoy poniendo el adjetivo después. Y lo estoy separando por el, o uniendo por el verb to be. Ok, esa sería como la unión entre el objeto que estoy describiendo y el adjective. Ok, questions. It's clear. Muy bien, entonces hagamos los ejercicios que tenemos ahí. Dice, say each sentence the, uh, in a different way. Okay, eso está claro lo de los adjectives, las posiciones. 
¿Cuándo la vamos yes, a utilizar? Sí, sí. Ok. Ay. Okay, aquí está. Write each sentence in a different way. Okay, a doctor has an interesting job. Que es lo mismo que decir a doctor's job is interesting. Okay, vamos a posicionar, vamos a cambiar el adjective. Y eso va a hacer que nuestra oración sea diferente, pero que tenga el mismo significado. Vamos con la number two. A police officer's job is dangerous. Okay, ¿Cómo nos quedaría? A police officer has. A police officer has a has dangerous has job. His job. Has a dangerous job. job. Okay. Ah, sí, no hay punto. Number three, a teacher's job is stressful. Ah, say it to me. Not too much. A okay, teacher, ¿cómo nos quedaría? A teacher, teacher has, has stressful. a stressful job. Stressful job. A stressful job. Okay. A plumber's job is boring. A plumber has. Yes. Burning job. A, a boring. boring. A boring job. A boring job. An electrician's job is difficult. Yes. An electrician has a, dif a difficult job. An electrician no, a, uh -huh. has a difficult job. A difficult job. Okay. And the last one, number six, a vendor's job is easy. Yes, tell a me. vendor has a vendor has a easy job. An easy job sería an an easy, easy job. job. Yes, que okay. tanto para el adjetivo, okay, a o an Dependiendo de cómo inicie mi adjetivo. Si inicia con vocal, an. Si inicia con consonante, a. A, difficult. A, boring. A, stressful. Pero si inicia con, vo con vocal, an, easy. Y lo mismo, bueno, eh, lo mismo sería para el inicio, ¿verdad? A, plumber. A, teacher. Porque empiezan con consonante, los. Eh, pero si empieza con una vowel, um, tendríamos que poner an, ¿ok? Como an electrician, an electrician. Ok. Yes. It's not difficult, right? Yes. Okay, now let's do some more examples. Okay, I'm going to say the sentence and you are going to tell me the sentence in a different way. Okay, for example, 
a musician has a boring job. ¿Cómo lo diríamos? In another way, in a different way. A musician's. Mm -hmm. A musician jobs. Job, perdón. Yes. Is boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. <laughs> okay, a musician's job is boring. Correct. Y recuerde hacer bien perceptible el, el possessive de S sound. Okay. Musician. Muy bien. Now. En Raquel, tell me a sentence using easy. Easy. Raquel? No. Que a volunteer? No volunteers. Mm, yo, yo yes, Adrián. Yeah, con easy, ¿verdad? Con easy. Y una profession. Ok. Um, que ver una profesión a. Uh, Pill up job. Is easy. Ok. A pilot. A pilot. Job. ¿Verdad? A yes, pilot yes. job is yes. easy. Yeah. Ok. Ahora, Roxana, dígame esa misma oración que dijo Adrián de otra manera. Ok. Eh, a pilot has a, a easy job. An a easy job. Yes, correcto. Y okay, vamos ahora con Dangerous. Es Darling. Una oración con Dangerous. Ok, sería. Quiero ver. Con una profesión. Richard. The job of electricity is dangerous. Ok, sería an electrician. Electrician, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, an electrician's job is dangerous. Ah, ok. Job is dangerous. Ok, Richard, la misma oración de otra manera. El micrófono. ¿Cómo? ¿De qué manera? Eh, la elaboración era An electrician's job is dangerous. No se le escucha. ¿Ahora? Yes. ¿Cómo? Bueno, puede escribirla en el chat porque casi no se le escucha. O oh, no sé si soy yo la que no le escucho. Ok, ahora sí le escucho. No, 
no, como que se le, como que se le va. O sea, va a ser la misma, pero de diferente manera. Hey, Robert. ¿Cómo quedaría? An electrician's job is dangerous. An electrician has a dangerous job. Yes, correct. Ok. ¿Hay preguntas acerca de esto? Vaya, háganme todos un ejemplo, please. One example. De las dos formas. Usando cualquiera de los, tenemos, ahí tienen eh, adjetivos, exciting, difficult, stressful, dangerous, easy, boring. Ok, van a ser de las dos formas, posicionando el adjetivo en las dos formas que acabamos de ver. Ok, you have two minutes, one minute for each sentence. Ya las colocamos en el chat. Yes, please. Ok. A lawyer's job is stressful, okay. A police job is dangerous. A police has a dangerous job. Excellent, Carlos. A lawyer has a stressful job. E a lawyer's job is stressful. Okay, great, Flavio. A nurse job is stressful. A nurse has a stressful job. Okay, great, Carla. A cook chef is easy. Mm. Uh, a chef, chef's job, sería a chef's job is easy. Así sería, Roxana. No pondría el cook, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. sí, sí. Ah, ok. Hmm. A librarian's job is boring. A librarian's a librarian has a boring job. Okay. A teacher's job is difficult. A teacher has a difficult job. Okay. Okay, excellent. A lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. Okay, excellent. Muy bien. Now, let's make 
a secretary's job is easy. A secretary has an easy job. Excellent, great. Now let's do the reading. Okay, let's do the reading. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading. Job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Okay. Well, let's finish, and then uh, if you have questions. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Okay. Do you have questions about vocabulary words? No. En la de Lisa Parker. Uh -huh. Duda en la que dice white dress en en esa mujer Ah, white white dress. She works sí. as a waitress. Okay, waitress is the person who um bring your food in a restaurant. But we have waiter, which is for men, and waitress, which is for ladies. Sería en femenino. The el femenino de waiter. Sería waitress. Yeah, okay, okay. Gracias, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see the exercises. The last one. After I win, I take a break. Okay, ¿quién dijo eso? Lisa, John, Becky, o Carlos. John Blue. John Blue. Okay. I don't usually work in the summer. Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz. Okay. The restaurant closes late around 2 a.m. Lisa, Lisa Parker. Lisa. Okay, because she's a waitress. After work, my feet and my arms are tired. Becky, Becky, Becky. Becky, Becky. Okay. Excellent. Muy bien. That's the end of section three.
So now we can move to the middle term. Uh, what happened? Okay. Del middle term tuvieron algo con lo que específicamente tenían ¿Tenían problemas o dificultades? Eh, yo, teacher, fíjese que en el ejercicio número 3, uh -huh. eh, no sé, eh, me da error en dos. Quisiera saber cuál es el error. Ok, let's see. Ahorita, en el 3. Yes. Este. Yes. On scramble the sentences. Write mm -hmm. each sentence in the correct order. And well, in in el anterior le dan la imagen de cómo están los objetos. Yes, right. Or no. 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 Okay. Como eh, díqueme el primero, ¿cómo lo escribieron? Okay. There is no the reason the reason a mirror in the bedroom. Yes, correct. There is a mirror in the bedroom. Mm. Okay, yes. Number a mí two. me la marca como mala, teacher. Eh, Tal vez por el apóstrofe. El Ajá. Mm, okay. O algún espacio. Sí, ok, puedo decir eso. El apóstrofe va, es el que va paradito. Porque la tilde va de lado. Y así me, yo tuve varios errores y era porque ponía una tilde en vez de apóstrofe. Pero... Yes. Ah, ok, puede ser eso. <risas> ok, la segunda, ¿cómo la...? Yo, yo, teacher, en algunas las hice, digamos, sin apóstrofe y me las dio correcto. Ok, veamos esta. La segunda es, there yeah. are no pictures. In the hall. In the heart. Okay. There are no pictures in the house. Okay. In the last one. There are any. There, there aren't. Uh -huh. There aren't any court times. Court times. Court times. Uh -huh. In the, In dining, the dining room. room. Dining room. Dining room. Ok, teacher. Si sí, era en el apóstrofe. Gracias. Sí, era por eso. A todos. Ok. Sí. Ok. Right. Okay, ¿Algún otro? Bueno, veamos la primera. Es un listening. Mm, 
One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bed. Okay, there are how many bedrooms? Three. 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 Okay. Bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Okay, number two, there are some chairs yeah. in the living room. Siempre se traba hoy. A ver si hay que abrirle en otra pestaña. Así. Uh -huh. <laughs> some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. Hey, Julia needs a... Uh... Microwave oven. Okay. Yes. Number two, complete the conversations. Use the simple present of the verbs. Select the option that contains the words. Okay. Tell me. Does has a Mm, why does? Does your apartment building mm, okay. have an elevator? Yes, because it's the apartment, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, it does. Does. Okay. Number two. Three. Conversation do two. Do have do no. the bedrooms have closets? Do have. Okay, do the bedrooms have closets? Okay. No, they don't. Don't don't. Okay. Great. Okay, no está tan difícil the middle of them. Esta que ya Let's see. Select the correct words. A uh, works in a hospital. Nurse. 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 Yes. Talks to people at at a hotel. Receptionist. Receptionist. ¿Y cuál era la otra forma de que se le llamaban? La mencionamos, ¿se recuerdan? Manager. No. Otra. Lo vimos en una. Yes, yes, yes. En un diálogo. Oh. A front desk agent. H. A front desk agent. Dijimos que también tenía como las mismas funciones como el receptionist. Okay, number three, sits all day. George. A George. Y yes, así gana viendo. Okay, yes. 
select questions to complete the conversation. Okay, we have an example. Where yeah. do you work? Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Okay. What does he do? What's he do? Excellent. What does he do? Number three. How do they like their jobs? Okay. How do they like their jobs? They hate their jobs. Okay, and the last. Um, complete the conversations. Select the verb be or have. A singer. As has exciting. Has. A, a exciting? Job. Seguro? Unexciting. Unexciting. Uh, I see. Sorry. Okay. I disagree. I think a singer's job is not boring. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. Okay. Muy bien. Si decía exciting y dice que disagree, sería que no está de acuerdo. I disagree. O sea, no estoy de acuerdo con lo que estás diciendo. Sería entonces el opuesto. El opuesto de exciting sería boring, right? Okay. A singer's job is boring. A flight attendant has a stressful job. Okay. Has a stressful job. I agree. It is stressful. It is stressful. Que okay, esta parte no la hemos visto. De agree and disagree. Ya lo vamos a buscar. Okay. A cashier's job. Is 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 easy. Easy. Really? I disagree. A cashier has a difficult. Okay. Okay, excellent. Muy bien, entonces hasta aquí tienen que tener completo para el día de mañana. Eh, creo que le dan hasta las 5 de la tarde si no me equivoco para completar eh, los ejercicios recuerde que tienen que tener arriba del 80 um, let me check your progress ya se los mandaron verdad ahora creo que se los compartieron no no Okay, great. Um, okay, vamos. Okay. Um, Muy bien, Adrián is complete. Andrea also complete. Okay, Brenda Guadalupe. Nos hace falta la, el middle term. Y le van a decir que suba un poquito en la section 3. Sí, solo me falta hacer un, un ejercicio en eso. Okay. Y completar el examen. Ok. 
Igual Brenda Isabel. Okay, Carlos, Ricardo, complete. Carlos Roberto, yes, complete. Cecia, okay, it's, it's, it's complete. Darling, um, the el exam, darling. Y la section three. Sí, solo eso lo que ahora estabas terminando eso. Ahora lo voy a hacer. Ok. Dennis. Ok. Hay que trabajar en, de la section 2. No le dijeron nada, Dennis. Porque creo que le van a pedir que la repita. Recuerden que tienen que tener arriba del 80. Eh, Ustedes pueden ver también este, como su calificación de, de, de su registro ¿verdad? a ver, edit is complete ok, Fátima nos falta section 3 en middle term Flavio de middle term Gabriela section 3 en middle term um, Carla Azucena, también Section 3 in Middle Term. Carla Vanessa is complete. Mm. Ok, aquí sí estamos atrasaditos. Que okay, Luis. Miguel, Nancy Yacel, Nancy Soledad, Nora, Pamela. Okay, hay que trabajar ya la section 3. Section 3 en middle term. Que okay, recuerden que solo tienen el día de mañana durante el día. Si ahora pueden adelantar un poquito, aunque sea en la section 3, y dejan para mañana lo del examen. Pero recuerden que ya mañana van a tomar nota y si no, les van a estar ahí este, poniendo en, en, en el grupo. Que igual Ronnie. Que los demás estamos bien. Marvin solo en middle term. Que hay que completar el middle term. Ok. Ok. Um, Let me see um, on the manual if we have only how to agree and disagree. I don't remember to see that part on the manual. But we use agree and disagree to say if what a person said you think the same. Que si usted piensa lo mismo que esa persona dijo, to express an opinion, when he or she express, expresses an opinion, and you think the same, so you are agree. That's agree. But if, uh, if his or her opinion is different from your opinion, so you are disagree. Disagree. Y en este caso no lleva, no lleva el verb to be, sino que solamente I disagree or I agree. No se dice I am agree or I am disagree, sino que solo I disagree or I agree. Ok. So that will be all. Only let me check attendance again. Ana Beatriz, Carlos Roberto, present, okay. Edith Vanessa, Carla Azucena, Luis Nilsson, Nora Eloisa, 
Raquel Abigail, Richard Joel, Present. Okay. Ronnie Alexander. Present. Okay. And Jamie Marisol. Okay, so that's all for today. See you tomorrow. Okay, don't miss the class tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Okay, goodbye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Adrian.